Hello, I'm Kerry Bernal and I'm joining Book Trust for their pyjama campaign. I've got my dressing gown on and my sleep mask because I actually love not getting dressed. If you can join in the fun too, just pop your PJs on and head over to at Book Trust to find out what lots of lovely illustrators and authors have been up to. Today, I'm going to read you a bedtime story which I've written called Ballet Dreams. So get nice and comfy or get your dancing shoes on. Get ready to do some twirling. Once there was a girl who dreamed of dancing, of skipping over rooftops and pirouetting round the moon. She could twirl on her toes as lightly as snow and dart through the air like a swallow. So her granddad called her Little Bird. And there she is dancing over a lovely city, which I think looks like London. One morning, Little Bird's mama woke her with a smile. You can go and have a look round your new school today with Grandad. Oh, I don't think I'll bother with school, Little Bird laughed. I think I'll just do dancing. Grandad chuckled and squeezed her hand. Think of all the new things you'll learn. How to read books and spell your own name. But I want to be called Little Bird forever, she sighed. And there is her lovely Grandad giving her a nice cuddle. Then on the way to school, Little Bird heard music and she tiptoed through the doors of a glittery old theatre. There before her was a lake of midnight swans, more beautiful than anything Little Bird had ever seen. <gasps> it's like watching a dream, she breathed. It's the ballet of Swan Lake, said Grandad. Through the air came a dancer with the lightness and grace of a dove. She was as elegant as nightfall as dazzling as the moon. That's Odette, the swan princess, said Grandad. Little Bird was spellbound. She crept to the edge of the stage and murmured, I want to fly like you. And there is our beautiful ballerina. I think if we're very patient, there might even be a real ballerina coming to join us today. Here she comes, the beautiful, beautiful ballerina. Beneath the sparkling lights, the Swan Princess spoke. When you grow up, you can join the Midnight Swan Ballet Company. But right now, there's a children's class starting. Would you like to join? Mm. Little Bird's face lit up like a star. Oh, Little Bird stepped into a long room of mirrors and children in pink satin shoes. Her feet felt lighter than feathers. She flitted like a butterfly spun like an autumn leaf and leapt as high as a drifting cloud. So it's very windy in my garden. There she is, having a lovely time dancing. Grandad, I don't need to go to school, Little Bird sang. I need to go to ballet. And here comes our lovely swan princess, one more. Here she comes. But even ballerinas have to go to school, smiled the swan princess and she pulled a snow-white feather from her crown. Everything you learn is like a feather, she whispered. When you have gathered enough, they will spread out behind you like wings, and all you have learned will help you fly. Beautiful, and away flies our gorgeous swan princess ballerina. Little bird held her feather all the way to school. Oh, Grandad, she cried, as she skipped into a classroom of sunlight and stories. I think I will like it here after all. And there is a lovely sunny classroom. Just remember, grinned Grandad, everything you learn will one day help you fly. When Mama got home from the bakery, Little Bird flew into her arms. I'm going to be a ballerina, she cried, and my stage name will be Little Bird. Mama giggled and together they held up the feather and they wrote her name in the air. Then Mama gazed at Little Bird's expensive school bag. Well, maybe you can start ballet next term, she said gently. As Grandad listened, he was still, for he knew when Little Bird danced, she shone as if her heart had brightened. He stared at his golden watch and very quietly he went out. <gasps> The next morning, Little Bird awoke to a wonderful surprise, a pair of silken ballet shoes. <gasps> Mama gasped in amazement. 
there we have Little Bird looking at her lovely silken ballet shoes. Grandad smiled his twinkly smile. You'll need them when you start your lessons, he sighed. When the first day of school came, Little Bird was ready. She danced all the way there and she danced all the way home, gathering feathers as she went. In the end of term ballet show, Little Bird had a starring role. Mama had given her a very special gift, a magnificent feather from a real midnight swan. So Little Bird would never forget her ballerina dream. There she is, dancing on the stage. And one day, just maybe, she would be the Swan Princess. Are we going to see the Swan Princess again? Here she comes. This story was called Ballet Dreams. It was read and written by me, Kerry Bunnell, and the beautiful ballerina was performed by Amelie Bunnell. Me! We hope you have a lovely day in your pyjamas. <laughs> we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye!